All right, so we are about to begin. My goodness. All right, so. I have my headset backwards. <laughs> and uh, it's still Valentine's Day. I have not fallen asleep yet. My day doesn't start until 12 a.m. Oh, well, okay, 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 okay. So. Literally, how my model is right now, that's how I feel. <laughs> Dang, I haven't streamed in forever. We're already struggling, man. But, um, yeah. So, I haven't, I haven't been on for a hot moment because, uh, one, I worked Super Bowl Sunday at a fucking pizza place. <sighs> I, I, well, I think it's mostly been to exhaustion why I haven't, like, been doing content and stuff. But, you know, I'm back and we're gonna be playing some, uh, Sucker for Love. And I'm really excited about this one. This one, I'm, I, I, I'm pretty, you know, pretty excited to do. I wanted to do it earlier, but I was dying earlier. Probably because I didn't eat food. <laughs> okay, okay, so how my day went today is I woke up at like 2 p.m. I have to go to the bank and I didn't do that today because I was dying. Bro, so something about me, I don't know if anyone else has this, but like, I shit you not. I laid with a, like a weighted blanket and usually that stuff just relaxes you and makes you feel so much better. But with me, I just, I'm, I'm the type of person just to keep going and going and going. So what happened was my dumbass, um, <clears throat> absolutely. So for me, whenever I uh, take a day off, that's usually the day where I die because I, again, I'm the type of person to keep going and going and going and going. So essentially, Think of it as like, you know when you're driving a vehicle and you have like the emergency lights and stuff? Now, pretend that all of the lights are on when you're looking at the dashboard. Literally, that was me today. I died today. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't do anything today. So I, again, I wanted to stream earlier, but I was death. But now I feel so much better because what? What time is it? What time is it? My time. It is 1 a.m. <laughs> It is 1 a.m. and I'm alive now, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Yo, Iman, Merry Christmas, my guy. You know, I'm 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 pretty disappointed. I thought you would have said like Happy Halloween or something. I mean, Merry Christmas. No, you didn't say Christmas. You said Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right, I need to I need to calm down. Again, it's 1 a.m. I'm hype because I haven't streamed in a while and I love streaming, but I need to like. Take it down a notch. Wait, Halloween was over. Halloween is never over. Halloween is my favorite time of year. Halloween will live forever in me. Halloween will live forever within me. <laughs> Not in me. <laughs> Bro, okay, I need to I need to stop being sussy. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't. So I have not touched this game. I was recommended this by one of my mods. It looks so interesting. I can't wait to see what happens. I need to stop being... <laughs> <clears throat> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not, like, well, okay, okay. I don't mean to be sussy. I just am. Okay? <laughs> I just am. Oh, shoot. New date. <clears throat> Survive chapter one to unlock, survive, find all three secrets to unlock. Survive chapter one? What? Okay. Oh, oh damn. <clears throat> Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Oh shit. Bro. IRL actually. If I ever do get a girlfriend, I want them to be very terrifying.
Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding, to merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that their unspeakable gods wait dreaming, their awakening under aligned stars herald the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same name shipping my ass. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So as you can clearly tell, my voice is dying and we haven't even started like this. Hold on, I'm gonna like drink an entire like gallon of water. Give me three seconds. Okay. <laughs> um, it's 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 Valentine's Day time. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll push the mic away so then it's not like right up to my like I'm not like deep throating the mic. We're gonna push it back a bit. Okay, so. <clears throat> Damn it! Come on already. <laughs> Just shame. <laughs> I can't English, bro. Same day shipping my ass. Click. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. <clears throat> I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend reckless sleep, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Wait, was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this thing for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I have a genuine ne Necronomicon. Bro. <clears throat> this is even hard, and my voice is already dying. Okay, 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 I need to stop doing that. People are sleeping. Alright. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... Make pardon? This is the Necrofuckonomicon. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or it's something, but it looks like it just came in an office supply store. No, please, don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent on this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer's probably long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam, though. you think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think nobody would notice that the Book of the Dead is Malibu Pink? <clears throat> Wait. Is this a symbol on the front, ex embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look glit and gold, too. And this weight! Why'd they make the knockoff out of some high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably why. Just deliver... Wait. That's probably just a delivery confirmation message. <clears throat> Amazing. Your order. You know... Sir... Sir... 100% <laughs> real Necronomicon. Not clickbait. Not a scam. Guys, <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm dying. What the? My order was delayed. It will be delivered until tomorrow. <clears throat> like, what the hell is this supposed to be? Did it get delivered by me by accident? There's no shipping label on the box. <clears throat> Stranger still. This inscription at the bottom, it's... Really at the end. The unholy language of the Elder Scotch. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde and bawling fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. 
Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? As I click through like 7,000 of it. <clears throat> Candyman? Wait, is that us? <gasps> Snuff? What? <clears throat> Items. Okay. Okay. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, and turn off your overhead lights. Okay. <clears throat> Close that. Um, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> In the dark, light red fire candles. They'll be for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Put on your ritual necklace and chant. Okay. So we're calling. Uh, get my necklace on. Okay, I'm not, I'm getting, it's probably not going to work. <clears throat> okay, I said it. I can't read this. No. Okay, okay, so. We turned off all the lights. Um, oh. And then, uh, oh god, it actually worked. She, she's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An ob wait, an omni wait, damn it. How do you say that? Omnipotent. Um, omnip. Come on, Hika, Hika, you got this. <clears throat> an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of the world of world ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. <gasps> Purpose have you awoken Laneha the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? I, I can't talk. I, I can barely breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. The, the Dark One, I ask that you grant me my, my wish. To be the first human to be destroyed, yes, so that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. N no, I, I, I want to smooch you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Am, am I supposed to? I, I'm mad with lust. Send me back. <laughs> uh huh. But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. <clears throat> Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Huh? What? Th this? I, I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. <gasps> okay. M moo, who's that? Are they one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? Is it not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Er, uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. <clears throat> nah? 
For what? No way. <laughs> oh, oh, what? R really? Th this thing? I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. W wait, what'd she say? Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. <laughs> oh, don't make that face. I can make it <clears throat> worth your while. If you understand what I'm getting at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y you'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go oh. insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Oh, uh, okay. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? Yeah. You knew what Hot. you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? <gasps> Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> so, if the world is going to end either way, deal. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the deaths ritual? Okay. <clears throat> Snuff all the light out from the room, turn on your sink or shower, and make a moving sound and make the sound of moving water. All right. I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. You aren't alone. I'm here. Uh, you know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? <laughs> Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. This, these rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. Okay. You know, I didn't expect you to last this long <clears throat> in the same room as me. Really? I spent a lot of time preparing to smooch ya. It'd be a waste if I lost my grip on reality and tripped to the finish or line. Or maybe you're only holding it together because you've already gone insane. What if I'm just what your mind wants to see? Things don't look like they did before I got here, do they? Yeah, things do look like a, look a lot better now that you're here. Just so smooth. <laughs> Yo, my guy got skills. Hell yeah. All right. <clears throat> Snuff all the light from the room. Turn on the sink or shower to make some of water. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. So we go in here. Is it on? Hey, yo, clean it up a bit. Okay. So, <clears throat> home sweet home. You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Okay. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Oh shit. Will I be okay? Just focus on following <clears throat> the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? N no, no, no. Wait, wait. Why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I, I won't. I, I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. All right. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, okay, okay. Next one. <clears throat> Ensure your sink and shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making contact uh, with which rooms in the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help you lower your electricity bill. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so ensure your... Okay. So she's taking a shower right now. Jeez, it looks like quiet out there with all this fog. Is something moving out there? Uh, oh shit! Oh. <clears throat> what? I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water. <laughs> I, I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like. <clears throat> But it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, this page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Uh, uh, unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Okay. Oh, what is this? <laughs> What the hell? I can't even pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Unspeakable. <clears throat> As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Wait, can you pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. Oh yeah, then what's this? This bitch is amazing. Holy fuck. I c war war Worcestershire war I'm not even a try. <laughs> Damn, you are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat 10 times fast. Toy Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Show off. <clears throat> this ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable and incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be easily cleaned, like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. So I have my ritual knife, and then I have to take this off. Bathroom, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so. Perform the ritual someplace where gore can be easily clean, like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. Okay. Huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. 
please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. Oh, I'm... Uh, I'm... I'm still cute as hell, bro. <laughs> but I thought I'd get an allergy mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Hmm, weird. Hey, Lynetta? Yes? <laughs> Uh, you scared me. You, you called me. Uh, uh. Who the hell is the third voice? What are you talking about? That was you. Look. She takes hold of my hand. Whoa, I'm holding. <laughs> Whoa, I'm hand holding on the first date. Moving fast, but that's no, okay. Look at your hand, silly. My hand. Oh, f get, get it off! Quickly, grab that knife from the bedroom. Cut it off. Hurry. Cut it off? But it's your hand now. <clears throat> Surely enough, it's not disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's much embodied mouth indeed. Is this really my hand? What? What did I do to my hand? <laughs> Are you all right? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on. But, but uh, I'm not stopping before that's. Wait, I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have. Now I have, my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch ya. Is there someone at the door? This is bad. Did it get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps into my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about the knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it. I even picked the apartment on top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist looking around, and I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. <clears throat> Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Are you in? <laughs> Who's this? Come on, let me in. Crap! It's even worse than the police. There's one person it could be, in the worst possible times. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all that world-bending spells I've been casting? That, uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No. I mean, no. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're mind failing god <laughs> goddess. Wait, you're a mind flailing goddess. Maybe you'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Mm, I guess it's a good point. Wait here, I'll be right back. <laughs> Missy, hey, good to see you. How do you do? <clears throat> I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Oh no. <clears throat> Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. <gasps> she doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside of working hours, but it's hard to explain. She basically pays me rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I can afford to buy all of this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh god, yes. Hell yes. Right this way, ma- Wait! And was inside. I got caught up in the moment. I almost forgot. Um, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could give it to me just out here? Um, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Huh? A present that has to be given in private. Oh man, what could it be? 
Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy me, I'm toast. Can, can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Ah, oh, well, I can't get get away right now. How about we meet up after work? Go out after dark. Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside. I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking you so long? <gasps> I miss you. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. <clears throat> Who is that? You have company over? That's just the mailman? Inside your apartment? Shoot! She's got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face. No one. Oh man, she's pissed. I'm sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survived this. Um, turns out one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen, they can be really pushy, you know? <laughs> I don't want any. Uh, no, I, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they'll give up. Did she finally give up? Oh, fucking hell, shit. I can't do this. <laughs> Let me turn up the game a bit. The game is kind of quiet. I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. <clears throat> better hurry, though. These rituals before there's any more interruptions. All right. Now we can see this one. <laughs> one of three? I don't know what that was. Oh. <clears throat> Do not attempt to switch it without performing it. The calling invoke the depths. Invoked depths in the calling. All right, yes. Proceed in total darkness. No lights. No candles. Ensure his image appears in no way poster or tapestry. Wear ceremonial robe. Wear the ritual necklace. Wear a mask or a headpiece to distort your features. Have the ceremony knife in person. Always remember. All right. So. Do not have him. Boom, boom. Where do I get the robe? Oh. We opened the- we opened the... The thing. Oh. Uh. Damn. Oh shit! Oh god. Okay. Uh, oh, control. Okay, now we're back. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know what that does. I don't know what that is. Gimme, gimme. I don't know what that is right there. Okay, cool. Now I can take that down. <laughs> um. I still don't know what that means. Um... Alright, his, that's down. We did those two. We're a ceremonial world and the ritual necklace. Where's the robot?
Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Alright, get the robe, the necklace, and the mask or headpiece to destroy your features. Have the serve a knife on your person and always remember... Okay. And I have the knife, correct? Yes. Hello, handsome. What? And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. Oh no. Oh no. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something's not right. What happened to me? Darling, what are you looking at? N nothing. Nothing, huh? You <laughs> were looking at nothing? E e yeah, nothing. Is that the truth? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Uh, okay. Prepare an offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort, collect all necessary ingredients. Okay. What? <clears throat> that symbol. Oh no! Oh wait, my, my model died again. <laughs> um, it's that one, right? Yeah. Oh god. I think. <laughs> I think we messed up. So, what we're gonna do is open that and restart. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh, all the way over here. Okay, 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 so, boom, boom. Gimme those. Gimme that. And then... Say this. <laughs> nice. Oh, metamorphosis. Oh, okay. Oh, the poster. Oh no. Alright, so. And then illuminate your room to your comfort, and then. Gotta make sure that is up. And it's that one, right? Yep. No. Need ingredients? What are you talking about? Sir! Oh. Light up the room a bit. Yeah, illuminate room to your comfort. Oh wait, I need uh, cold storage. Nah, come on. And all it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. 
See you in a few, love. Okay. Reach into oblivion. Wear ceremonial robe and have the knife in your possession. Have another life form on your person. Oh! <gasps> Not the turtle! Alright. Uh, robe, knife. Come on, let's see. Ah! Wait, what? Oh, wrong sigil. It's like an eye. There we go. Oh, gosh. If you could read all realities, do once you start the ritual, complete all three pages quickly, you'll be vulnerable until you finish. Don't open the blinds, do not open doors, do not turn on lights, snuff out any existing lights, or you'll attract our attention. Alright, uh, that one. Uh, no, 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 okay. Um, I'm, I'm, You. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Do not cover your ears, you'll need them. Mm, she's coming. Come on, 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 God. Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon. Oh, my God. It'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. Oh, shit. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and... And you painlessly myself, as thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore, or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Oh God. <laughs> being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. Okay. Dark communion. Let their room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklace. Okay. Have the offering on your person. Alright, well lit. Oh my god. And... Just perfect. I wish you could... Oh. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging okay. yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth 
an echo into oblivion. Are we really about to destroy all of humanity just to get a kiss? The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Okay. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? So just have the original knife on your person. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date. To end. But we haven't had a kiss yet. Face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And what? that's because of you. So why destroy me? In all of reality. Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking. Right? Yeah. Why oh, won't you stay with me? Sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Yeah. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. <gasps> no. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Oh. You're up, my darling. Oh, I got a kiss. You've earned it. A new date. The king in yellow approaches. In the world terrorized by slaving shadows and tentacled nightmares, something innocuous has an additional star in the light in the night sky. Maybe the most prophetic premonition of the doom. For wherever you for Wait, for the little bro, it's too late to be Englishing. For whenever the lurid golden light of planet Koraska shines, the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter, equal in part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of God's king's court, the favored victims of the king's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Hmm? Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I was supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. I was... Wait, was I going to work? I'm standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Sun's setting, so it's probably around 7pm, which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day. Sun up to sun down. That's why I'm... Six hours early for my shift. Those sound like church noontime bells. Is it high noon? No way. They must be doing some special event service or something. I can clearly see that it's golden hour. Right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If that's not too late. I'll rehoof it. I'll get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh, someone's coming. Perfect. Fingers crossed. 
then I'm absolutely screwed. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would ya? Hello? Hey, uh... Hey! Is this guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway of this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such a weird... vibes. I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture. He's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotched of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he, even ha does he even live here? This is the top floor, and I thought I've met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are go inside and call the police, or walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around. The cop shows up. But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with golden accents. A book. What's... <laughs> Lynetta! But I died! The world ended! The shock freezes me in place because I was so distracted. I didn't even notice that the... Oh... Oh, fuck! I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's face. Fumbling with the locks in panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. Oh no. I take a few fearful steps back, clutching the book and beating my chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual, so why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. Lynetta! Lynetta! If Lynetta was here, she could have explained this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on. Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta. This <gasps> Lynetta you're trying to call. M Missy, w what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Oh no. <laughs> How did you even get in here? The window was open. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did Lynetta. you. Sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed that I slammed the door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or why is my room full of evil idols and realistic or um realistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Cursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Well, yeah, uh, exactly right. Did you randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. You know what this is, what? don't you? It's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta's. Hers looks way more innate than mine. Considering that I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. The sky is suspicious man outside. They match Misty's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she would just, you know, show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? Because I don't know what you're gonna do! <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? N maybe. I know all too well, but... I also know these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce. <sighs> and that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do everything you want. I can be rather demanding. Oh no. <laughs> Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. 
Okay. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, Your Highness. Oh no. <laughs> when she comes home, she wants to move in. But that means whenever it's not like I'm gonna have an actual follow up on these, at least until one of us has to die. As you wish, Your Highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm sprinting range of the knife. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Do you agree to my terms? Absolutely, Your Highness. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, Your Highness. <laughs> whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. Okay. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. She just handed the book. Okay. She, she's not here to hurt me. I'm confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. Okay. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Uh huh. R right. We narrowly escaped our lives just now. But something's bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in reality where that ended under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window. I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it? There was only one possible answer. All right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? So you're an elder's god, distinguished as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce. W w Shut up. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <laughs> oh, I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Yeah, you should have tried using your elder form instead. I would have fallen for love immediately. What? what? You think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human. 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with uh, non elder geometry are smoking. <laughs> they got curves I can literally go sin. You're attracted to my cosmic godhood. I would have just led with that. Nah. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching an elder core are coming true. An elder royalty to boot. The king in yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory is fuzzy. Hmm. What do I remember that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods? Like Lynetta. Shit. I kind of got swept up in the moment and forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Uh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm more involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know. So loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. Meh? In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, <gasps> I can double it. Holy fuck. She promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> you handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. So you'll match her offer then? I... I s suppose If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be... Uh, uh, arranged. 
No way. You promised to double it. That's like two smooches. Hold on a minute. Two of them on the lips. All right, all right. Very well. Two smooches lip to lips. Satisfied? I just... <laughs> Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Oh, no. What's up? How are you? Welcome. I just sold my entire reality to uh, Cthulhu for a kiss. Now I'm going to get two smooches for kissing this demon. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Huh? You mean the spell book that was, I was afraid of? It's just a damn play? This thing is just a playbook. Where are all the power invoking rituals? Ritual. Sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Bruh, it's okay. I would do the same. <laughs> no, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting I love that. hocus I love pocus that. in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed. Okay. Perfectly. Perfectly? Play has to be performed perfectly. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals, or I mean scenes, right? The first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set my scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Oh, I'll be killed? Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna be killed. Go. I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Oh no. Okay, bet you know, you know, um let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Setting exterior in view of city. Host, click and drag your first word of line slowly. Greetings, stranger. I have oh part of which I bow. Oh, right here. No! Ah! Okay. I already failed the story. What? <laughs> how? Okay, 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 okay. How, how, how do I... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Kaboom. Boom. All right, we're going to try it again. So, greeting, stranger, fortune fellow. To you know, I took a theater class in high school, and it wasn't this hard to act out scenes. Oh. I don't know what that is. Um. Fuck! <laughs> All right, little checkpoint again. All right, so. You know, it was easier selling my soul to the other one. So much easier. Alright, so... Oh, wow.
What? How am I supposed to do this? <sighs> How am I supposed to do this? This is so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. Wrong line! Okay, so... How? How do I do this? Why am I so dumb? <laughs> Probably because it's 2.30 a.m. <laughs> so my guess is that I... <sighs> I just want to kiss, man. I just want to kiss. <laughs> do I read the... Setting. Click and drag the first line slowly. Oh. And then I say this line. But Miss Ma'am. <laughs> I just want to kiss, man. All right. Uh, where's she at? Oh, oh, I have a kiss on the forehead. Oh. All right, I want to try again. Um, greetings, stranger. Greetings, stranger, fortune fellow. Tis party. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. So come and ye, ye. It's fine. It's okay. You know, it, it, it's okay. You know. So what am I doing wrong? I'm like going out of the ouch. I kick the thing. Ah, the desk. <laughs> so I, I I click here, and then I say the words. You know, I I I talk I talk the talk. So every time I mess up, I think I get sent to the shadow room. Maybe it's because it's hard to see in here. Maybe let me let me let me turn on the lights. Oh, hello. Hey, Esther. Don't do that. W what? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name. Dearest, there's a reason I am she who is not to be named. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? You have many options. You may call me your majesty, your grace, my king. Oh! <laughs> you could even call me your royal highness if you're
are feeling particularly subservient. Esther, Esther, Esther. All right, what if I say it to you, mademoiselle? Fuck! <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that mask looks pretty cool. I like the mask. <laughs> what is it now? I was just thinking, you know how saying your name summons yes? you? Yes, what of it? There's an old myth that saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight summons an angry demon to your room. Really? I've never heard of such a ritual. Does it work? It summoned my neighbor telling me to shut the hell up and go to bed, sort of. I don't understand it. I get so close. I get so close. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Click and drag to the f wait. Click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. All right, I'm guessing that I said that. Wait, maybe, 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 maybe I'm missing items. I mean, there, there was an angry spirit. <laughs> right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So click and drag the first word. I invite the king. Wear thine mask to my masquerade until he oh, okay 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 so i need the mask i have the mask now setting exterior in view of city oh okay okay i get it i get it i get it i get it please don't be the bad guys out here now we say it Greeting, stranger, fortune fellow, tis a, f tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow, so come all ye in yeetel. Wear thine mask upon you to my masquerade, until he may come to Los Eatel. Hope for us there may be still. Shadows lengthen dim streets dark. <gasps> and to the you, thou must we got it! So loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yatil. Only much attention, quite unwholesome you'll instill <laughs> from the souls of poor Yatil. <laughs> Why attract so much ill will? Nice, nice, nice. This is just what I must seek. See, hidden somewhere, amongst the meekly, tis one invitee I seek. He shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come and I shall to you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish and this whole town will know anguish <gasps> for the king. Oh, they say I shall like this. city indeed smite. Telling you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Wearing this expensive clothing, 
pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till my deep wait till I'm decomposing. All my friends whom I strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness and claws. Wait, is the cause? They shall be all proud because I had brought to the king to us. Yay! Applause. Bravo! Simply splendid. <gasps> Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was the theater kid. My school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you perform Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Oh, fuck. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. Please tell me I was a tree. <laughs> yeah! I was tree number four. I... wasn't aware that was a role. Yeah, I was the tree, number four. It is not. <laughs> you weren't even the leading tree? <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Oh, you are good. Whoa, hey, what's happened to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. Ah. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other ah. words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light, or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Mmm. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She literally vanished when the sun sets. What a Cinderella curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. <gasps> well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Then it hasn't summoned, been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Who do I want to smooch? Or maybe, more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta or do I follow Esther this time around? She's offering twice as many smooches after all. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds appear and use Esther's. And if I try doing both while walking down the middle of the road, bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar. Mm. But she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? Let's go see. Oh, I need to take off the mask. <laughs> Should I wash it off before I... Uh, what's the play? What's the play? Do I wait... To go with... Um, cause I mean, she's not gonna murder me. This lady will. Wash it off. Oh, <gasps> you're fucking right. You're fucking right. Oh, you're fucking right. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't kill me. <laughs> oh, I need to turn off all the lights. Uh, 
And then a uh, red fire. I was about to fly too close to the sun, I know. <laughs> Oh, I need the necklace. Darling, it's you! Ah! <laughs> hey, Lynetta! It's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen and did it, willingly. Oh. Kasumi got a bit hotter. You don't fucking say, my god. <laughs> Why do you think I'm having a problem choosing two kisses or I get Kasulu, hot Kasulu? Quality over quantity, that's the real question at the moment. Can you tell me what happened to me, to the world we were we dated that in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Oh no. Just as I thought, only. Then, why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. You're still here because... I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. <gasps> Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. In a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every God stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. Oh. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry! There's about 50 of us total, so the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. Mmm. There's only like 50 of you and all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? F family? D do you know Esther? Esther. Darling. I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Oh no! Especially not my sister. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good. Hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Bravo! Oh, dang it. I messed up. I skipped a massive portion of it. <laughs> ah! So how I do my emotes on my app, on my thing, I had to press control and then like a number. And so when I was trying to find it, oh, I should, oh, I should have blushing on. Just forgets he exists for a second and he, oh, you're right. I hope she doesn't forget me. Oh, I need the candles. I can't. Sucker for love, first date. I can't read it. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh man. Bravo. <laughs> Why am I like this? How many times have I restarted getting to that point? <laughs> Okay, close you, turn off, turn off, light. Oh man. Ugh. Darling, it's you. you Okay, right here. Do you know Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Oh no. 
sister boyfriend stealing I don't uh have a great relationship with her absolutely not we've been fighting over planets and followers for eons it wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses oh fuck <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward darling what's that on your forehead Um, uh, n n nothing. What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? Because if it is, well, you die here. N no, I did. Esther, leave a kiss mark on my face. Would you kiss me? I, I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's, uh... It's what? Come on, man, just bullshit it. Say something. It's r ritual paint. Ritual paint? Y yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals. <laughs> oh, really? Y yeah. Which ritual? Uh oh. Um, it it's. It's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can spare you. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? Mm hmm. Y y you wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not! Why would I care about that? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <sighs> when it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Oh my Remy god. Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from her following. Grandma Roxanne? I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods, or the mother goddess of fertility. The fertility goddess, you say? No funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Well... Esther, looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I wouldn't be able to see her right now, even if I wanted. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. But I can save my ass last time. I better cast that one I'm unable <laughs> in case I'm unable to talk again. Jeez, listen to myself. What the hell's wrong with me, man? <laughs> I need a moment, Chad. I need a moment to breathe. <laughs> oh god. I love it when my model just goes into like oblivion. What am I doing, man? Cast this one again, and then I need. Ooh. Sh shit. It's still unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my head now, forever. Uh, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh, oh no. Uh, no, wait. But what? What is it? Uh, you sure you want to do what that? What do you mean? I mean, don't you want to just shower before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? Just a tad salty. Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking, but I love you. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came and would have... And I would have been a goner. <laughs> Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. 
Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lena, I need to make absolutely sure that the window never opens, ever. Actions will have consequences. Alright boys, what's the fucking play? What is the fucking play? Do I go for the devil smooch or do I go with the babe? Which is it? Cause Cthulhu. Cthulhu is actually like she's really good. Like she's great. Yandere, but great. <laughs> Just board off the windows. Okay, I know where your answer is. Alright, we're staying with this one. Metamorphosis. Performing this ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. If you hear or see something strange, it's not your imagination. Be ready. Oh, that's the one where it gets scary. I mean, I want to, I mean. Uh, this is so hard because, I mean, that mask looks pog as fuck. Hold up. Let me go. That looks so cool. All right, I'm going to go the Esther route. Apply the masquerade mask to the host. Adorn host in elegant robes. Affix rich and knife to the host person. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't have the ropes on. Hey, Esther. Oh, fuck, we already messed up. Fucking hell. <laughs> don't do that. What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. Oh, I already did that. All right, so... Apply the masquerade mask to the host's face. Adorn host in elegant robes. And affix ritualize to the host's person. Yep, all's good. Now we have to go look into the mirror. All right, looks like everything's in place. I feel all guys up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. Even if Mina is showering in here, I better meet Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me, and... I already know what you're gonna say, your highness. Yellow... Wait. I already know what you're gonna say, your highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. It's like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Huh? What? Oh. Oh no. Ow, ow. It, it really won't come off. <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. Wait, 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 wait. Surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct. I can't blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal tiles. The mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This is... What do I have to... What do I have to wear to... Wait, why do I have to wear this to work when I... When I see the family? When I see Lynetta? Wait, 
a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks stuck to them too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Interior well lit, okay. Oh, wearing robes and mask. Oh, I already have it. I think this is the play. I think this is the play I'm going to go for. Because, because, because. <laughs> I think I, I, I want to go with this route because. Um, she, she's, she's, I do like the play aspect much better. It's, it's, it's a lot better. I, I don't like the sacrificing and all that. I mean, she's also more funny. Welcome, company. Much cherished. May my loneliness... Lonely... Wait, bro, I'm already fucking up voice lines. <laughs> Welcome, company. Most cher... Wait, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish to thus evening. We shall share which we would be wasted by... By... by blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Something I was never good at in, like, acting class. So I was horrible... Because English is not my first language. I cannot... Like, once I get the, the voice lines down, I can totally do it perfectly, but, like, when I read them for the first time, I mess up so hard. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of Goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Oh, fuck. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling devilish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Be graciously obeisant, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who have been doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. <clears throat> Yeah. Although I'm terrified. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact. I probably should have asked before we got into the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. What? Oh, that's a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait. My character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Oh fuck. <laughs> she implying that she thinks my death is gonna be funny. <laughs> I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her, right? No way, I can go through No way I can go through with that. Sorry, I don't wanna die again. I that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. Okay, 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 okay. I technically, I technically.
I'm actually terrified of what's gonna happen. All right, <clears throat> from cold storage, red lit, red fire candles. I'll let a king into the room. Do not make a mistake, or a hundred may arrive. All right, so ingredients. Oh, the king into the room. Perfect. All right, red. <clears throat> so, simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. <clears throat> the room is filled with mouth-watering aroma, perfectly seasoned meat, and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther's strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, that's not what I meant. Instead of watching you eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like the groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the mask stalkers outside? If they all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside this time. I bet they'd kill for a chance to spend time with Esther. Just a moment, <clears throat> dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Silk? My blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. So picky. If she's that uptidy, maybe I'll start with the grave, something that will feed her princess complex. Uh -huh. I'm glad. Another. Hey, I think I could have one of these. <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Oh yeah? So you won't eat anything... Wait. Oh yeah, so you won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed it? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes! I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Hmm? Delicious. It's so good. I never had anything like it. Let me try! Oh? You want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on! Mmm, it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of elder magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? What was that? Uh, I order you to hand over the cream puff! Very well, my king. I offer her the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... <laughs> I forgot. I was hand-feeding it to her. Mm, it really is delightful. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealously daggers into my back. Don't tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat an entire set, don't we? I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. 
I li okay, 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 okay. This is fun. I like this. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Next one. Wearing the robes and the mask. Interior, no light besides the window open. Damn the night and the morrow scornful, wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitious unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I've killed, why is it that, why is it us? Why, <laughs> why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? to a hunger such as thine. Now your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die. It's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Hey. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me? For bemusement, thou wast hawking, and so I'm... So... And so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave naught else in the whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, <clears throat> for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Go, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on your till, and whose shadow huh? you're in still. Dark as death is now your till. Ugh. Draw thy blade from thine confusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. And as. Vision turns to darkness. You have claim to all you see, and you wear that mask and robe the rest of all your life indeed. Strong will fall to illness, haunt your tail with quick like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your tail. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still, he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of your tail. Wales unlike they'll ever be again in dark you till that your invitations quill brought the king to black you till <laughs> Thank you Oh thank you <laughs> You're all too kind Listen to that applause dearest the euphoria of a flawless recitation. Innumerable voices make up the caffeine of cheering outside my door. Fanatical reverie screams of terror and sadistic amusement. All amiss thunderous applause. The king has smiles, come. Dearest smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? Why? Why didn't you use a stage knife? I I'm really bleeding out here. My blood streams from gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Y you mean... The smooches, you promised, plural. You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? You are... an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. <clears throat> Yellow sign is only visible 
trouble for those who have witnessed before him. Uh, being exposed to yellow sign after witnessing will cause permanent irreversible obsession with the uh, If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles. Behold the yellow sign. Oh Become no. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. No oh, fuck. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. Oh shit. Some of these has have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me of all people? I'm because broke. I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. <gasps> Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least... Until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Oh, fuck. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. Oh, fuck. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Oh, fuck. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chests onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? Such a defiant tone. Aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me! Uh, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> this dude you is fucking smooth! You can try and resist smooth. it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. Oh, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Yeah, uh, that sounds like marriage. No! I'm talking about a servitude <laughs> where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! A servitude unlike anything on Earth, where you never so much as think anyone else no we have that on earth it's called marriage it's different <laughs> it's not <It's> two. <clears throat> how so it means no freedom forever you are only permitted to do as i say yep and it means preparing every single one of my meals for me whenever i so wish yeah for sure and it means never being allowed to quit your servitude You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us part, even? Exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but you're literally describing being married. <clears throat> I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm all in. Let's get married. I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Lynetta in another reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. 
You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. See you for our wedding day. <laughs> you can't be serious, right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Yo! Sucker for love. First date. Oh, that was so cool. <clears throat> so wait, 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 what if we, what if we, uh... All right, what if we stay with, um, Lynetta? I want to see if we stay with Lynetta. That was very fun. I like that. All right, all right we're going to try one more, but we're going to try to stay with Lynetta this time. All right. Be ready. Proceed to the doctor and the lights or candles. And share their images appear in a way. Off. Off. Leave those closed. Off. <clears throat> Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure their images appear in no... Beep. Okay. Here's something strange. All right. Continue on the next page. Wear a ceremonial robe and a ritual necklace. And then have the ceremonial knife on your person. Yep. Check. I remember this is the part where like the things... Oh, I need the tentacle mask. My bad. My B. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't move it again. It's like last time. Okay, calm down. Just focus. If I can control my hand, then. Hey, hey. <gasps> You're learning to control your eldritch mouth so soon? I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Seems I still have. My muscle memory from my last reality. Good. Oh, oh try saying something in Rillian! Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet! Uh, I to say I love you! You must have been studying, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty fluent now, right? Mm. What? Dangling participle errors since you started the sentence with ya instead of ya ya. And since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. No need to be so formal with your girlfriend. <gasps> she's my girlfriend. She, 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 she's, she's my girlfriend. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Guess I still have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> yeah. How do you. Damn it, it's actually really difficult to speak English to my hand. Relian rolls off the tongue in comparison. Hand tongue, that is. How do you speak human languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you if you can't communicate with them. True. Really? What else do you know? English, Mandarin, <clears throat> Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, Parcel Tongue, Elvish, Undercommon, Swedish. Hey, you made some of those up. All languages are made up, darling. Which is fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is big oh, I love you. I la la love you. Oh. Lynetta? Yes, darling. I'm just checking, but you haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? <clears throat> this Eldritch Embrace spell looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> How strange! <laughs> oh, what 
What's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals. So I could spoil you a little. <gasps> Th that's actually pretty sweet of you. But there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? I can't lose sight of my singular goal. Smooching you. Well, alright. I'll leave you to it then. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Outer gods, hands with mouths. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? Huh. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? I'll what? just be right back. <clears throat> Stay safe, okay? Mm-hmm. Dark Communion. Alright, wear no robes or necklaces. Have an offering on your person. And this is where it gets dark and scary, right? <clears throat> I think. Oh, the room needs to be well lit. Need ingredients? What? No robes or necklaces. Have the offering in your person. I do. I have no robes or necklaces. Let the room be well lit. Oh wait, no, stupid. Yeah, that's on. What am I doing wrong? <clears throat> as long as we keep up finding each other, we can find... Mm, mm, mm -hmm. I'd like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. <sighs> Who knew waking up could be so exhausting? Gonna take a nap before... Gonna take a nap before you? Well, end everything? You know me so well! Could you get the lights for me again, darling? Ah, we're about to end the world again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Wait. Hmm? Hi. Need to talk to you first. Why? What is it? What if... What if we didn't complete the final ritual? What if I stayed to sleep longer? So we could have a little more time together. <gasps> Just you and me. Lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. Doesn't that sound nice? It does sound nice. This reality is doomed. You said it once. The dream has to end eventually. Maybe keep dreaming. Wait, keep the dream going on forever. It has to come to a nightmare eventually. Or worse, it becomes reality. Take a look at the world around us. Take a good look at me. Is this what you want our reality to be like? <laughs> of course not. My lovely dream of being with you forever never come true but we can be forever wait we can be together for a short time forever but i'm not ready to say goodbye again why can't 
can't we just stay for good? Why can our time together <clears throat> only be brief meetings and long farewells? What if we're saying goodbye forever? If I'm in your dream, if I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. <gasps> I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember. My darling looks like this. Remember that when you dream of him again. Oh man. Thanks for playing. Sucker for love. First date. Dang. Sucker for love. First date. Alright, alright. Before I end stream, I want to try if I, like... Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, go back. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, wait. Low checkpoint. Alright, main menu. I want to see. For love. First date. No. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 Uh, main menu. Main menu. Load. All right, do this. Where's the part where she's like sleeping? There's a part where she's sleeping, right? Sucker for love. First <clears throat> it's like prepare offering, I think. That already smells. All it needs is a little. No, she's not here. Uh. Um. Shoot, where was the? Cause. Love. First date. Is it invoke the depths? Home sweet. Hmm. I have to go outside. Dang, but like, yeah, that uh, that was a very sweet ending. I liked both of the endings. I, lo I love, I love both the endings. All right. go perform this one and it's when she's sleeping on the bed i think that's when we can uh perform the uh ritual where we break up with her ah give me a knife all right let's go Here. All right, let's go.
Darling, oh fuck. What are you looking I totally at? forgot about this. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Is that hmm. Did I scare you, darling? <sighs> And if I see you trying to cast that spell oh, about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Oh, I almost, I almost tried to do the spell. <gasps> oh, I need that symbol. another life form on your person let's see hold up i'm trying to figure Sucker out First how do we get the third uh, find all secrets to unlock one through three no stop it ah! <laughs> i just punched my desk for love. First date. damn um Darling, what's wrong? You're <laughs> Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, well. Did we get an ending? No. Sucker for love. First date. Oh, well, you know, I think I'm going to end it for now. That was such a fun game. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have fun editing uh, like clips out of this. But uh, yeah, it was super fun playing this. Um, I say my favorite route easily had to be the second um the second routes were more fun uh specifically i like the um i like the cthulhu route hers was more fun on the second time because bro it felt so it, it, it felt so real man i was tearing up when she was crying because i'm like yo i understand but this is the deal we got going on but I also love the teasing and uh, with the other one. I love the teasing. The teasing was so fun. Oh gosh, cause I have. Well, damn. I don't know. I like teasing people. Teasing teasing people is so fun. And so when uh, I say my favorite scene overall was the cream puff scene. That scene was so perfect. Just hilarious when. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna eat the cream buff after I take in a bite after it? Are you sure? And then she's just like, just give me that cream puff. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. Oh shit, it's 3.45. I have work at 9... No, no, I have work at 11 o'clock. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me check my schedule real quick. Or right, let me see. Let me see something. I got burial insurance. <laughs> All right, so. Mm. I have an order at 11.30 and 11.40 tomorrow. So that is fun. So I have to be at work at 10 o'clock. It is almost 4 a.m. So I need to like leave my house by like nine. That'll give me five hours of sleep. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. It's all good. All right, let me go check the schedule. So next I'll be streaming is on Thursday and we're going to be playing To The Moon. I have countlessly been trying to play this game and it has been forever. So um, 
just look out for that. I'm, I'm, I, I, I will hopefully even stream on time. On Thursday, I'll be streaming at like 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. On Friday, I'm very excited. Friday, I will be in a Ready or Not collab with like nine other people. That one is going to be f so fun. I mean, if you were here for the other Ready or Not collab, it was unhinged and great. I loved it. <laughs> and uh, that will be at 11 a.m. on Friday. And Saturday, we're just going to do a, a plain old Zatsudan where, you know, we talk. And we chat. I think uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post like um, what the or I'll have in the title what the um, theme of it will be. So look out for that. And if you enjoy this, you know, go to my YouTube. I'm I'll try to post shorts there every day that I'm not streaming. So that would be uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Sunday, and Monday. So. Look out for shorts on those days. I'll put this VOD also on YouTube, just in case, you know, like, because Twitch also has the knack of just getting rid of it. So look out for that as well. Have a nice night, sleep well, and hopefully uh, you enjoyed this game as much as I did. I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.